Warfare, by definition, is chaotic. Smoke, noise, and confusion reign in spite of planning. Driving order out of chaos requires organization, process, and tools. Medical planning requires synchronization of clinical capabilities and clinical care with operational scheme of maneuver. The goal is to provide the right care at the right time in the right place. The concept of medical planning is not new. Throughout the Civil War, Clara Barton volunteered to collect and deliver wagon loads of bandages and other medical supplies to U.S. Army doctors caring for wounded Union soldiers. She was not formally trained and certainly had no prior experience in the logistical complexities of providing medical care in a combat setting for ill and wounded soldiers. Undeterred, Barton, a trailblazer in combat care, tended to wounded soldiers, helped establish field hospitals, and prepared the injured for medical evacuation. Against the backdrop of the carnage of the Civil War, Barton realized there had to be a better way to prepare for war and disaster. She went on to found the American Red Cross, where the fledgling concept of organized medical planning was nurtured. Estimating the medical requirements for treating wartime illnesses and battlefield injuries is a critical part of the medical planning process. By World War II, most military medical planning was done using field manuals, which depended on rules of thumb and lookup tables to predict casualties. This method was an improvement because it attempted to insert a more scientific method by using mathematical formulas, but it lacked consistency, standardization, and documentation. The field manual approach to medical planning had another flaw. It only predicted the number of casualties. This back-of-the-envelope planning method didn't account for how many patients, the types of injuries and illnesses they would see, the level of care they would need, or the transportation requirements for medical evacuations. Yet, from World War II through Korea and Vietnam, this was how medical planners prepare for war. Warfare has evolved, often rapidly, and the need to accurately determine what medical resources and personnel are needed has become critical. Providing the right medical care at the right time in the right place can mean the difference between life and death. In the 1990s, the use of computers and databases began to grow and the transition from manual to automated processes began. Able Research Center data scientists created programs that harnessed the power of big data to predict the likelihood of the types of injuries and illnesses that would be expected for different operational scenarios. These programs were a foundation for the design and development of the Medical Planners Toolkit and the Joint Medical Planning Tool. Using these tools, medical planners can estimate the number of casualties, predict the exact mix of medical conditions, project the best evacuation routes, estimate the needed supplies, equipment, and personnel assets, and calculate the required number of operating rooms and patient beds, all necessary to provide the best care and treatment for anticipated patients and to effectively manage the medical workload. Medical planners can also use NHRC's tools to examine the trade-offs inherent in the positioning of military treatment facilities, MTFs, the types of roles of MTFs, the number and specialties of medical personnel, and the number, type, and availability of transportation assets. Modern warfighters and today's U.S. military medical planners don't have to rely on techniques from World War II. NHRC researchers use science and empirical data to help military planners determine the best course of action in an evolving warfighting environment. This increases survivability and improves health outcomes for combat injured service members. As a result, an orderly picture of complete and accurate medical requirements emerges from the chaos. For the first time in history, military medical planners have a standardized, repeatable process to support medical planning. Use of NHRC tools combined with scientific approach has contributed to the lowest mortality rate in the history of warfare. Learn more about the science of medical planning by visiting us on the web 